Welcome to Test 2 Plus, everybody. I'm Trace. This is a week of sleep talk. And today's question is, can you live without sleep? Test 2 Plus is a show where we take big concepts and we try and make them feel like small concepts. So what happens if you don't sleep? Could we live without sleep? I mean, the simple answer is no. <laughs> we can't, at least with current technology, live without sleep. There are no alternatives to sleep. As I mentioned earlier, everything sleeps. And since humans can't just switch off half their brain in a uni-hemispheric way, you can't just decide not to sleep. Polyphasic sleep, or sleeping more than twice in a day, biphasic sleep, sleeping twice, or monophasic sleep are all fine, but you have to do one of them. Your body will require you to do so. There is a question of whether or not other animals sleep. There are some animals that we know of that don't. Amphibians don't really sleep. It comes down to activity versus inactivity. Bullfrogs respond to shocking tests during periods of inactivity, the same as if they were awake. So science isn't determined whether or not they're actually sleeping. They don't think they are, but they might be. Fish and dolphins don't really sleep, but that's kind of a cheat because they have that unihemispheric sleep. They're only sleeping with half their brain at a time, so they can keep swimming around or you know, kind of be half awake, I guess, and half asleep, so they don't really count that. But they also, you'll come across some resources that'll say dolphins and fish don't sleep, when really they're just half asleep. The thing is, there's also hibernation, which is a confusing thing when it comes to sleep, because hibernation is and isn't sleep. Hibernating animals aren't gonna just wake up if you go and, and shake them. Hibernating animals actually go through physiological changes that get them into a state of hibernation. Sleeping animals, we don't change physiologically when we go to sleep, right? When you lay down for the night, you don't wake up a different person or you don't become a different person. Your body behaves differently, but you're not physically or chemically changing too much. Hibernating animals are using this stored energy to get into a physiological state that is different from their non-hibernating state. For example, an arctic ground squirrel's body, their temperature during hibernation gets so low that the neurons in its brain are actually incapable of firing. That's way deeper than sleep. If you do wake up a hibernating animal, like if by cutting down trees or you know some dangerous thing where that animal now has to decide what it wants to do, if it wakes up, it may never go into that hibernating state again during that season. So say it just went down to hibernation a month ago, if you wake it up and it was supposed to be there six months, that animal is probably going to die because it can't get into the same hibernative state again. Bears don't actually hibernate fully. A lot of bears, like polar bears, they don't hibernate at all. They just sleep normally. But some bears will hibernate, but it's really more of a partial hibernative state because they are still somewhat conscious, which is pretty interesting. Did a whole video about it on D News. Check that out. When it comes to not sleeping, why would you want to? I mean, remember all the benefits that we had from sleep? You got REM sleep, which helps you dream. You can build your tissues. You can regenerate yourself. You can get a better immune system. If you don't sleep, can you die? Yeah, sort of. The world record for sleep deprivation is 264 hours of wakefulness. That's 11 days without sleep. Personal record 40, I think I'm doing okay. Road trip. If you try and stay awake, the brain is gonna go through what's called microsleeps. It will actually force you to sleep. Kind of like a phone with low battery that you keep turning off and turning it back on. You switch it on for a second and then it turns itself off. The phone isn't really working, but it's there for a minute. The sleep is sort of like that with microsleep. It's forcing you to sleep, but if you shook the person, they would respond. University of Chicago has lab technicians and they kept mice awake in their sleep lab for two weeks, the mice died of hypermetabolism. Their metabolism got so bad that they couldn't process energy and they died. There's also a disease called fatal familial insomnia, which is the only real example of we have, that we have of humans not sleeping and then dying. It's uh, 200 families in the world have FFI, or fatal familial insomnia is hard to say. And what happens is eventually they develop this, usually in middle age, and then after six to 30 months where they have not slept at all, their organs fail. It's a genetic disorder, it's terrible, it's related to mad cow. So that world record for the lack of sleep, that's insane. 264 hours of wakefulness, 
That's crazy. Don't even try it. The kid who did it had a lot of different problems with regulating their sleep schedule after that competition. It's it's pretty dangerous, actually. Lack of sleep also causes all sorts of problems with your body. So if you don't sleep or you force yourself not to sleep, sleep deprivation is huge problems for health in terms of hypertension, obesity, problems with stress, problems managing your body, and also getting sick easier and having problems with your, not sure if you paid attention enough to know, immune system because it doesn't regenerate itself and you don't heal as quickly because you're not sleeping and allowing your body to heal. All of those things are important with sleep, and if you don't do it, you don't get those benefits. You can't just make them up somewhere else. Another thing that I would like to point out is you cannot catch up on sleep. If you don't sleep for three days, you don't just get to sleep for three days worth of sleep at the end of that and have made up all of the difference. Your body is a cycle-based system, not a mechanical system. So if you don't sleep for three days, you don't catch up on sleep later. It's not how it works. It's like saying I can eat a cheeseburger every day for a year and then not eat cheeseburgers for a year and it'll be, it'll be a wash. That's not how the human body works. At the end of all this, what do we get? If we know what sleep is, it's a resting state that recharges your body. We know why we have to do it because if we don't, things go badly for us. We have a poor immune system, poor functioning in general. We don't put a lot of effort into sleep. We want to stop doing it, but we shouldn't. So what about other stuff around sleep. What's like the future of sleep? Okay, fine, so now you get it. You need to sleep. But if you are still looking for reasons to go to bed, check out this video on the benefits of sleep. And thank you for watching. Subscribe so you get all of our videos.